thought. Mm. Well, I feel like it, it's also a matter of like all you really have to do necessarily is just see how high your opponent is on his goal board and how low you are and what their garbage is. You know, you, you can see if they have clean garbage. Whereas with Koyo, it's it's a little bit harder to tell. Are we about to get a are we about to get an exciting match here? Oh my god. Are you seeing this? We might be getting some lit action on TV here. <laughs> That's okay. what you like to hear. Which action are we getting? I'm hearing that we're gonna get another Blark set, so is that what you guys Ooh. Think? Oh, I would love to see another Blark set. Who wouldn't? Honestly. Guy's so talented. <laughs> and here we are, numbers two and three, and deservedly so. They're they're, they're both high level players, very fast. Um, it, it, there, there are some differences in how they play, but I, I think overall we're, we're in for a really tight match here, as their seeds would kind of uh, imply. Yeah, we're talking about Blink and Blark for those uninitiated. Uh, so. As we've already seen Blarg play, so do we want to talk about Blink's playstyle a little bit? Like, how? What do you guys know about how Blink plays? Blink brings a lot of experience from Tetris friends, J Estris, Tetrio. So sometimes you'll see that he'll go for combos and a, a lot of the stacking for Tetrises. Uh, maybe not as much, many teaspoons as Blarg, but I think you'll find that his offense is just as formidable. Yeah, I feel like just as a general statement, I think he's a very aggressive player from what I've seen. Like he's not—he's just not afraid to send attack after attack after attack. Yeah. And I mean, Blarg kind of plays similarly, so I guess we're just in for an aggressive, just like balls to the wall, action. I mean, what are we supposed to expect from top eight? You make a compelling point. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guess I'll update a little bit on the loser's side. So it looks like we already have some people in top eight. Looks like the winner of Salted Bread and Beast and Shen will be playing Baseball Boy on the loser's side of top eight. And I Void will be playing against either Giga What or the winner of JB and Epic Yoshi, who we saw earlier, in the other side of top eight. So curious to see how those play out. Even the loser side is pretty stacked. We uh, we had quite the good turn yeah. tournament today. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're waiting on Blink here. But, uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, I gotta go to Blink's stream, right? Go for it. I think Blarg is also streaming it, so. Oh, okay. So I can go either way. Yeah, well, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. All I have to do is pray that my internet doesn't crash again. Yup. It's what you hope for. At least I'm not competing and it crashed. I feel like I would be much more upset if that happened. That's true. That's true. That's also happened to me before, I think. Oh, actually, actually, really. actually, I don't know. Can't, can't actually specifically remember. I just feel like I've, it's happened before. But... I've made it late to a tournament before, so that was pretty stressful. Did they let you in still? Yeah. Good tournament organizers. I would have booted you instantly, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> 
Which tournament was it? Why, thank you, modest. Oh, it was uh, GGC. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do well in it, but hey, they let me play, so that was very nice of them. Yeah, and I think that's hey, important. That's yeah, what you want. You can, you know. Once we actually get to lose or something, that these, you know, like we mentioned before about the, who we have in lose or some of these sets are going to be really tight. It's going to be great to see. Yeah. Not going to lie, I'm actually really interested in this losers bracket. I'm interested in the whole bracket. Like, first we got to see Blarg and Blink duke it out, right? Like, this True. is all just crazy. <laughs> all right, let's get the show on the road. Blarg versus Blink. Looks like they're getting started here. Ooh, classic hummingbird from Blink. You'd love to Aww, see it. Aw, yeah. Pretty sure that Mistra was Miscrop. Yup. But he seems like he'll be able to clean it up. Well looking really clean for Blink. Oh, yeah. yeah. But uh, Blarg getting through his garbage nicely as well. Th th this is a chance Blarg for our down. to get from Tetris versus Tetris action. So, save her yeah. Oh, yeah. Finally, something where I know what I'm talking yes. about. <laughs> oh, trust me. I don't know much about the Puyo versus Tetris matchup. I just pretend like I do. That's the commentator's way. Dang. See, I wish I could do that. I'm just so clueless like that I can't even pretend. <laughs> What's a margin you time? Just have to, you just have to act like you know what you're talking about. That's all. There you go. What's Man, Tetris? George, the improv here. Do oh, I see Hachi spin from Blarg? The classic. It's looking like Blarg's just uh, getting his T-spin game, right, uh, getting right into his T-spin game as we get started here with a one nothing lead. Yeah, I wonder how Blink's gonna adapt to it or not. But, uh... He's keeping up a good pace, so I feel like he's playing pretty calm right now, but... Yeah, I don't know, aggressive is the right word, but... Yeah. I feel like Blink is playing a little less as like clean and efficient than Blarg, where he's like taking a lot more smaller clears like singles, doubles, triples, where Blarg is just really focused on that extra efficiency and those extra T-spins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blarg is definitely trying to find as much attack power as he can. And he's doing it while like, keeping his board relatively low, while as you see on Blink's side, he just keeps on getting pushed up as he take some of those single clears, double clears, it's, it's just a stark uh, difference in their play styles right now. The w uh, one side is asserting their offense, the other is just straight on defense the whole time. Yeah. Ooh, Blink was real close on his border right there. Good survival though, able to barely get out of that, but not out of it completely yet. Gets it's the eyepiece just in time. Oh, yeah. All right, looks like Blink is pretty out of it uh, now, but a lot of cheese on his field too. Blark just ruthless and relentless, not letting, giving Blink time to breathe at all here. I think if Blink's able to take advantage of some of the brief moments where he has good garbage, he'll be able to keep up with Blark. I just don't see it, the, it lasting like a whole set though, I think. The blog is just gonna win out in, in these bouts of endurance. Yeah, I feel like these games are going pretty quick. Am I am I bugging or? <laughs> You're not the only one. This is looking like a bit of a wash here. Okay. Blink, Blink reminding me of his purify streams right now because all he's doing is down stacking. <laughs> yeah. The, the key is to turn those down stacks into long combos, seven or eight, so that you could start, so that he could start to put pressure on Blarg. And right as I say that, I see Blarg make a misdrop there, so that's yep. all huge for Blink. Yeah, let's see whether he can take advantage or not. Oh, but Blink stack not the cleanest right now. Gonna have to take some Z spin here, but I think he's out of it pretty nicely. I, I yeah. think the garbage. Coming in nicely for Blink, though. He'll, he'll be able to take advantage of this. 
Yeah. Oh, Link, for sure. Uh, the, the, the key is a different story, but I think he, he'll start to bring up a bounce deck combo right about now. Yo, yep. you called it. <laughs> there you go. You know how he thinks. <laughs> Get RJ on this stage. Why is Blink here? <laughs> Just a little taste. Uh. Oh, interesting this drop going into a T-spin right there. Yeah, still a lot. Oh, that I miss drop is really uh, killer. Can you survive? Oh my god. Ah, no. Yeah, he's not out of that. Vlarg not letting him go. I feel like Vlarg is either not scared of Blink at all, or he's just so scared that he's playing as if his life depended on it. <laughs> <laughs> Blarg should have a lot of confidence going into this, uh, since uh, uh, Blarg and Blink have gone through a few uh, first to 15 sets before, and Blarg has won them in fa a fairly uh, convincing fashion, so a lot of history going into this match. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if he's not scared in that case. Yeah. I mean, the results don't look like a scared man to me, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. Simple opener from Blink right there. Yeah. Blink does love to keep it simple. Uh, but it's I, I don't know if that's going to be enough against someone like Vlarg here. Who's just... Yeah, he's just, the pressure just doesn't stop for Vlarg. Like, the attacks yeah. are just getting pumped out. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the playstyles just don't necessarily match up perfectly. So uh, Blink has to uh, sort of work around his play style in order to get that W. Yeah. We're seeing uh, Blarg with some really clean garbage versus going for the garbage Tetris. Uh, just a huge advantage whenever you're able to get that kind of draw. Big six combo for Blink to stay in it though. Uh, I love some of the like timing choices he's making uh, on the defense where he's just uh, making sure that he stays alive. Just like the defensive timing, especially, where he is sending his attacks back. But these mist drops are just really killer. What I'm noticing from Blink, though, is that he's uh, covering up his garbage holes pretty often. So, Blog's able to kind of take advantage of that with his offense and just, uh, oh, what a mist drop from Blink. This could be it. Yeah. 6 0 already. I don't know yeah. if the stream times are different, but. Uh... They yeah. might be, but hey, we're working with it. Yeah, we, we got yeah, we'll it. We it got out. this. No problems. All right, so what are the odds that Blink gets on the board? Hmm. What do you guys think? I could see him taking one, so uh, I might totally change my mind when it's, once it's 8 nothing. but I think <laughs> he'll take one if, uh, if he could just settle down here a bit and just uh, start to pressure Blarg. Yeah, that's. I rough. want to say that. I want to say Blark has this one, but like, I don't want to. I don't want to jinx anything, you know. I. I mean, that's true. It's not over until it's over. But yeah, uh, just, it's just that kind of game, you know. I mean, such is that. Uh, such is how our profession goes, and the commentator's curse is very real. That's true. That's true. I do like though how like whenever. Blink does. It sucks that he is misdropping, but whenever he does misdrop, you can tell he's not like panicking or anything. Like he's very much like thinking on the dime and working around it. So it's impressive the yeah. way he's going about that. That, that missed perfectly or chance for Blink is huge. I feel like if uh, Blarg had gone for that kind of the T spin double setup, that he would have gotten in it compared to Blink. So. Yeah, Blink just kind of with some rough garbage here, like, doesn't seem to be, like, the stack looking very messy and, like, needs yeah. an eye to fix that. Yeah, I don't know how Blink plans to get out of this one, but looks like he's kind of getting out of there. It, it'll be hard. Possible. It'll be very important for Blink to kind of manage where he's stacking the pieces, making sure that he can hit the next garbage gap quickly, because... There's not going to be a lot of time to adjust if he make it, it makes a less than optimal decision. Well, I like these T-spins though, so Blarg now under a lot of pressure. 
Blink can get the attack off, so the attack's off in time. Blarg with another misdrop here. And that's and it. Bounce back. Blink takes oh, that man. game. Right. Yeah. Call it, back. It's kind Call of back. what I expected. It, 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 you just need one of those down stacks or uh, garbage, uh, garbage uh, layouts to just go your way. And then suddenly we're talking like there's going to be a game. And this is just where Blink starts to get it. They get things going. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, let's see if Blarg is shook at all, or whether he's just gonna continue as if the loss never happened. What a trinity also from Blarg. Yeah, that misdrop is not gonna do him any favors. Blink taking another oh round here. Oh my god. I, I think Blarg showed a subtle sign of being shook there because uh, y you could see that Blink just takes his T-spin single opening and just takes it, but Blarg uh, kind of concedes the round here. I feel like from start to finish, Blarg kind of just made way for Blink there. Yep. Yeah, a little bit. Now the tables have turned. You See, know? that's that aggressiveness that I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, just no balls. Just full steam ahead. That's another misdrop from Blarg there as well, and Blink is just stacking up here. No this, fear. This could be uh, Blink's chance to make a statement win here. As hopeful yeah. as it is, you gotta just claw your way back, and I feel like Blink's gonna be able to put some pressure on Blark to, uh, before the set is all over. I mean, 7 0 to 7 3, right? That's a little scary. Blink, Seven the master, the origin of the Bankai, right? Can he turn it back? Oh, on? yeah. Mm -hmm. That seven combo there was really impressive. I, I don't believe I saw Blar cancel any of that. So just taking that head on, it, it, it was just the end for Blar there. Yeah. Oh, but Blar's keeping it super clean there. And now match point. Yeah, I feel like if Blink played cleaner and like kept up with his pace, he would have he would have this in the back. And the set is starting to come to a close. How how will uh, Blink respond to this? Good question. But, uh, Blink stack looking really nice right now. Uh, but just it feels like he's just kind of breaking his back to back a lot when he's just not able to kind of get the same pressure out as Blarg. Which seems to be like the main reason why Blink is losing. I mean, his down stack is very effective, but it's just not effective enough. And that big spike from Blarg is just going to close it out. Yep. Indeed, like getting the first punch is so important because you really want to get the opponent to play along with your rhythm. So you get to call when to take the offensive, defensive, and Blink is just being led along in however Blarg sees it. Yeah. Looks like they're playing out uh, the set, but uh, this guarantees we have a Blarg versus Stormy final, or winner's final at least. Oh yeah. Which is definitely an exciting match, so we'll have to see how that one turns out. You think Look Blink at some of these knew that this before. set ended? Good question. I need to assume so, <laughs> okay. but but yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, when right. you give Blarg enough time, I feel like he can get creative. Yeah. You know, Blarg so is just. I should. Yeah, sorry. Go for it. Yeah, just when the pressure is not on, it's interesting to see how creative he can get. Yeah. Yeah, Blark just, he finds like a lot of very interesting things that will just kind of keep his, uh, like he, it's just his, like win condition is, can I keep up the pressure? So he finds like a lot of very creative ways of doing that. And I think that's those creative ways of doing it were how he was able to take the set.
indeed you, you, you'll definitely find that vlogs mixing in his speed along with his knowledge his stack knowledge being able to just rip off the t-spin setups uh mixed in mixing his uh main stack with his garbage stack just uh, very powerful indeed mm -hmm. yeah, yeah i feel like pressure was a big part of this uh match that we had today mm -hmm. I wonder whether we're going to be doing winners finals or whether we're going to give them a break and head over to the losers side. Because I know Salted Bread and BBB are probably ready to play each other. A Xeno classic. Oh so. yeah. 